Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks so much for tuning in to what's going to be my first Halloween look for 2017. I was obsessed with the show Glow when it came on Netflix and I wanted to do a tutorial because 80s makeup is freaking fabulous, but I couldn't decide which character I wanted to be. There are a ton in the show, um, but ultimately it came up to the final fight when it is Zoya the Destroyer and Liberty Bell up against each other. So this is a two-faced tutorial where on one side I have Zoya and on the other I have Liberty Bell. And so so whether or not you want to go as both like me, or if you just want to take one look on your full face, you can do that too. Let's get started. So this look starts super easy with foundation, whatever foundation you've been wearing lately. I personally have been trying this Lancome Tanti Dole Ultra Longwear Foundation Stick. Mine is in the shade 320 Bisque W, and I apply that directly to my face and use a brush to buff and blend that in. Then on to concealer. Again, I just grab what I tend to use every day. This is Estee Lauder's Waterproof Double Wear Concealer. Use whatever you'd like to and apply it wherever you typically like a little bit more coverage uh, and highlight, depending on how you like to use your concealer. Remember, it was the 80s, so full glam, full coverage was all the rage. On to the brows, I did once again grab my everyday brow product, but the shape will vary a little bit from character to character. Zoya's character tended to have a little bit flatter, a little bit less of an arch and a thinner brow, whereas Liberty Bell's was thicker and more full. Not an essential difference, but one that I definitely noticed when I was comparing the character's makeup. Now onto the fun part. For the eyes, I am using a strobe cosmetic shadow in the shade Catfight and I'm applying that all over my lid and then starting a subtle wing out, kind of feathering it out towards my brows. Overall, Zoya's look was very, very bronze, so that's kind of the name of the game here. Going in then with a Moon Dust from Urban Decay. This one is in the shade Zap and I'm applying that all over my eyelid, basically the moving part of my eye. I'm using that as a metallic base and also as a glitter glue, essentially. Depending on how you look at her eyes, Zoya ha sometimes had a metallic finish, sometimes had a glittery finish, so I'm getting the most, best of both worlds here, applying that as my base and then going in with Jessie's Girl Pure Pigment Eye Dust in the shade Penny Arcade and pressing that all over the top. Once that's done, I took a brown eyeliner. This one is from Charlotte Tilbury, and I just used that along my waterline and tight line on my upper lash line as well. Not making this too smoky, but just adding a little bit of drama around the eyes before going in with mascara. This, again, is just something new I'm trying recently. You should pick up whatever mascara you love the most. This is Lancome's Monsieur Big Mascara, and I'm giving my lashes a couple coats of that, but not really paying attention to how big my lashes get, because, of course, I'm going to go in with some falsies. On to bronzer, which of course is a staple on this side of the face, given all the bronze tones we have going on. This is uh, Givenchy's Healthy Glow Bronzer in the shade number two, and I'm just going in with a big fluffy powder brush. This one's from the Powder Blue Collection from Real Techniques, and I'm applying that to the hollows of my cheek. Well, I mean, I'm not being precise, really. I'm applying it everywhere. Everywhere you want some bronzer, apply it. I'm following that with a gorgeous golden highlight. This is actually another eyeshadow from Strobe Cosmetics in the shade Fortune Cookie, but it just so happened to mesh with all of the goldy bronze happening on my face. And then I go in and apply some lashes. These are just some that I happen to have from e.l.f. Super affordable, they get the job done. And then I'm moving on to lipstick. Zoya's lips were a deep metallic bronze with a black base. I didn't have anything that matched exactly, so I made it myself. This is a basic black lipstick from NYX. It's one of their Macaron Lippies in the shade Chambord. And then I just went in and applied the first shadow that I applied uh, over top of that. Just pressed it right in and it gave me the exact look I was going after. And that, friends, is your Zoya face done. Let's move on to Liberty Bell. To start Liberty Bell's look, I'm going in with a matte blue eyeshadow. This is from Kiss in the shade Cornflower, and I'm applying that to my lid and my crease. Really, this is just gonna act as that best friend blending color because we're gonna go back in with a different shadow after this to amp that pigment up. Speaking of, here it is now. This is from the JD Glow Galaxy Collection in the shade Haze. It's just maybe like the most beautiful blue shadow you've ever seen. It's okay, you can you can gawk. But what you should really do is just go check out the whole Galaxy collection on the JD Glow website because it's like some tri quad chrome goodness up in there. Highly recommend it. Back on to the brows, back on track <laughs> for the brows. Like I said, Liberty Bells are a little bit fuller, a little bit thicker and have a little bit more of an arch. So that's just the general effect I'm going for here. 
With that, the eye region is pretty much done, so I'm going back in with that same mascara. Again, a couple of coats, not worrying too much about volume though, because I'm gonna slap a pair of falsies over top. And again, going in with that same bronzer here on this side, I'm being a little bit lighter handed on uh, Liberty Bell's side because in general, if you're staying true to the episode, her eyes and lips are the main focus. Her face is actually not all that dramatic. So we're keeping it pretty subtle for now. Same goes for the blush. I'm using Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Pearlescent Pink and using a big fluffy powder blush brush to apply that to the apples of my cheeks, dusting it back towards my hairline and just, like I said, keeping it overall relatively subtle for now. And then we are finishing the look off with the lips to keep it complementary to the eyes. I went with a deep blue based red, whatever you have in your collection works. Uh, this happens to be one from Charlotte Tilbury. It's one of her recent launches. I want to I want to say it's relatively new, but it's her Hollywood Lips liquid lipstick and it is in the shade uh, Screen Siren. So I'm just giving my lips a coat of that and then I'm calling it a day for this look. JK, no I'm not. What would an 80s look be without a pound of blush? Guys, come on. I am layering some more of that blush, really focusing it up towards the back part of my cheekbones. And then, for the real kicker, I'm going in with this highlighter from a palette from La La Lu Cosmetics. They make those beautiful um, flower highlighters I talked about a couple months back. But they have this Glow Babe palette with a blue-based iridescent highlighter that I thought nothing would go nothing would go better with this look than this highlighter so that's we had to do it that way here we are this is finally the finished look I really hope you guys enjoyed this two-in-one tutorial. I would love to see if you guys go as either one of these characters or both. Definitely take a picture and tag me on social media if you are on it. Uh, basically wherever you are, tag me at Daily Bailey B. I would love to see your looks and I would also love to know if you have any other Halloween requests. Definitely let me know that in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys!